get ready 10 seconds 5 seconds start the food situation has been eluding solution for a long time we have had deficits for a long time we have had to import 3 to 5 million tons a year in a country which has about 300 to 320 million acres under crop each year where 66 percent of the population at least is engaged in active agriculture this sharp shortfall should not have been there it is a challenge to us it is a challenge to the whole population. It is a challenge as well to Shri Bhupesh Gupta, to the patriotism of his party, to people who say that unnecessarily a scare should not be created and it is their bounden duty to see that they help in the process of increasing agricultural production food production. It is a challenge not only to the government, it is a challenge to the people as well. It is a challenge to our intelligence. It is a challenge to the intelligence of the government departments. It is a challenge to the efficiency of the ministers. It is a challenge to the patriotism of the people as well. We have to accept this challenge. After all, you cannot go on continuing imports from foreign countries for a long time. Imports may not be always to our disadvantage as I am going to show. As the house knows, PL480 is not entirely to our disadvantage because those PL 480 funds are used or deposited within the country and are used to our benefit on a corresponding amount being deposited by the government. Although in the food account they are a debit for the country, they are an asset because they got spent for the use of the country for libraries, for universities and for other things. So, in that way, it has not been a disadvantage, but the very fact that we import food grains is a challenge to us, which challenge must be met. There was, in 1959, I think, a Ford Foundation team which went into this. They called it a crisis, a food crisis in India, the Indian food crisis and they submitted a report. They say that freedom for India does not count much if there is no freedom of food. If people do not have their food, they do not value their freedom. As the House knows, the Prime Minister sent out a circular to all the states two or three years ago requesting that the portfolio of agriculture in the states should not be neglected, it should be entrusted to an important minister. I think the National Development Council considered this question and they said that as far as possible the chief ministers in the states should handle the portfolio themselves and then they have started a food production board in the cabinet itself at the center and the national development council has decided that an agricultural production board should be started in each state with the chief minister as the chairman and an 
एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्शन कोऑर्डिनेशन कमिटी और बोर्ड शुड बी स्टार्टेड इन ईच स्टेट विद द चीफ सेक्रेटरी एज द चेयरमैन दे हैव स्टार्टेड एन एग्रीकल्चरल मशीनरी बोर्ड फॉर सप्लाइंग मशीनरी दे हैव टेकन मैनी स्टेप्स इन एडिशन to the normal measures the government have been doing their very best in this regard but with all that it is not kept up in the first 2 or 3 years of the third plan and we doubt very much whether the progress and achievement of the second plan could be kept up in the third plan as well unless earnest and vigorous attempts are made i wish to throw out my own suggestions in this regard they may not be very pleasant but i wish to be excused because i am speaking from experience madam the first thing is that so far as the producing agency is concerned its voluntary interest and its enthusiasm must be won for instance in industrial labor relations we go out of the way to invite labor and give it even participation in the management and to do everything for labor this is just to see that the industrial relations are good and the industrial output will be increasing day by day should we not show some consideration for this producing agency namely the farmer mr thomas has shown how agricultural products even today even at these increased prices are not paying to the agriculturist he has shown that very correctly and everyone who has intimate connection with agriculture at least will agree to that and if at all anything that is an underestimate not an overestimate when that is so how can we expect the farmer to produce unless he is enthused madam in the nation's councils the farmer is nobody the planning commission has nobody to assist it in this regard one who can bring to bear practical experience of rural conditions and of agricultural conditions on the deliberations of the commission